Hello, people, this is Chris, aka Samson, to bring back. Oh my gosh, with another episode, let's play One Piece Pirate Wars. So, last time we left off, we went to Impel Down to save Luffy's brother Ace, who is basically nearing death. So, yeah, so as we explored through Impel Down, we found Mr. Two, Mr. Three, and Buggy. So, yeah, and we encountered Magellan, the warden, who basically easily defeated Luffy. And also, we met Ivanka, whatever her name is, Ivankov, I think. Who is an Okama, which we, really re which we really didn't touch upon. So yeah, so now we find out that Ace is now taken to Marine Ford, the um, HQ for all the Marines. So now he has to escape in Down right after he just made it all the way down to level 6. So he could just run all the way back up. So yep, yep, this is how much crap Luffy goes through. So now we are breaking out of prison and we find Crocodile, aka the, the leader of Brogueworks, who we easily defeated, which was so awesome. And we also meet Jinbei, one of the one of the strong pirates who allied themselves with the Marines, but he's no longer allied with them, and he agrees to help Luffy find Ace. Oh my gosh, so much talking. So yep, and now we shall start almost the last stage. So now we are we broke we broke into prison. Now we're breaking out. Oh, let's do this. And also, you might notice that Luffy has yellow clothes now, besides his light blue. Yeah. Well, after he was uh, after he was badly poisoned by Miguel, and he got new clothes from um Ivankov's um I think butler or something like that. I noticed that he has a clover for a head. And might as well use it now. Bam! Like a boss. And guess who's on my side now? Crocodile! Yep, so after we found them like every other villain we found that we previously fought, we've allied with them temporarily. And yet I quote temporarily. Because after this thing, after this um... After um, the war in Marine Ford, then basically I don't even know what We don't even know what happens to like half the people that we meet in here. So basically really nothing happens in this episode. Like we basically just fight a bunch of prison guards and try to escape um, and pill down. Bam. And also, I believe this is either the 98th or 99th video I made. And today, I'm hoping to reach my 100th video by today. If I actually reach my 100th video by today, that's gonna be awesome. Achievement. Urgh. Die already! Holy crap, just die! Alright, we're finally gonna defeat all the enemies there, now time to run up! I don't know if I should use gear second or just some ran other random move. You know what, let me just stand over here. Alright guys, come- Actually, what, screw this, I'm going up here! Alright guys, come at me! Oh, no, no, no! Might as well, I mean really, look how much enemies are over here. Alright, let's see what we got. <laughs> look how much enemies we got, holy crap, this is awesome. Bam! <laughs> but, like always, no, 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 no. Dang it. Ah, crap, nuts. And we still got a ton more enemies. No, ow. Come on, inflate, inflate. And we are- Oh, Moo Cow! Moo Moo! Good try to get, um, Gum Gum, um, Storm prepared. If I can. Perfect! And... Right here! Perfect! And time to get some of enemies. Yeah, buddy! Ah oh, crap, ow. Die, Mukao. Ow. Holy crap, when will this Mukao die? I think it takes some hits. Dang it, dang it. My worries, ow. Curse you, Mukao. Oh crap, wrong um. Alright, let's see how this works. Gum Gum Hammer! Bossness. Yeah, we did that move with um. 
What's his face? Um, for guy's name, Don Krieg. We we actually got like a ton of moves that I really just never showed off because yeah, just didn't really find the use to. So we got this move. Let's try to find an enemy to use it on. Like this move, which we used on Don Krieg, we got um Gum Gum Axe, which we used on Arla. Dang it, stupid. Might as well. Time to use gear third, gear second. I meant gear second. All right. Um, where is Gum Gum? All right. Perfect. Perfect, right here. Yes, finally found a use for it. And I actually got a multi kill. Ha! Take that. Ah, crap. Ow! Okay, really want to be like that? Okay. Come on, Crocodile, could use some help. Wait, right, let me just uh, lock onto him. Ah. Ow. Oh, screw that. Um, some lucky. Yes, got some health and some fear. And that did crap. But anyway. Alright, time to beat that Moo Cow. Come on, come on. Perfect, I think. Is the Moo Cow defeated? Ah, uh, no, I, I think not. Yes! And come on, just gotta beat the crap out of him. So close! He's almost dead! So close! Come on! Die, you worthless piece of garbage! Yes! Finally, he's dead! Holy crap! That thing took even more hits to beat than friggin... I really don't even know. Alright, and that's Hanya Bulb, the Vice Warden of Impel Down, who's basically pretty useless. In my opinion, he's pretty useless. Alright. Let's just get him like this. And yes, this guy is based off, um, I think a Sphinx. Or something from- Oh, crap. Yeah, remember that statement I said earlier about him being useless? Yeah, I kind of take that back. Um... Just gonna use it, just gonna use gear second. Go use gear second. Perfect! And remember that statement I said before about him being useless? Yup, I now actually think that. And he's almost dead, actually. Huh. No wonder this guy isn't even a boss because he's just ah crap. He's just this easy. Where is he? Yes, and he's dead. <laughs> that easy. Need some water. My voice is kind of dry. So is he gonna do anything really good or what? Make that a no. And there we have it, the royal douchebag of them all. Brown beard. Black beard, I meant black beard. So he is the basically the douchebag who imprisoned Ace in the first place and why we're actually doing all this crap. He ate the devil fruit, which basically granted him the ability to suck out other devil fruit users' abilities for a short amount of time and use darkness to control 
like manipulate it but yeah but let me explain the backstory which is probably the most inappropriate time to do it but whatever so Bl blackbeard was originally part of ace's main pirates group the whitebeard pirates but one day but one day one of the whitebeard pirates named thatch he found his devil fruit which blackbeard originally wanted from the start so he killed thatch took the took the devil fruit for himself and ace ever since that day has been trying to find blackbeard until basically at the end of the 7 arc where uh, he does find blackbeard and they duke it out one last time but ending in blackbeard basically winning Cracker, he isn't actually that hard if you know how to beat this guy. The bright side is the good. The good thing is though that he doesn't have like bars. So basically, if you could, if you could beat him on like your the first try, then he's basically dead. You don't have to go. Crap! 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 crap. Fail. What was that? Was that supposed to be an attack? And this should probably do it, I hope. Bam. And nope. Didn't really do anything. Oh crap. Okay. Barely made it. Ow. What the heck is he? And come on. Yes, and he's dead. Blackbeard's dead. He wasn't that hard, but I mean, like, if you're me and had, like, low health, then yeah. Prison ride! Actually, prison breakout! But we're not exactly done yet. Let's just say that Magellan really wants revenge. And he really wants revenge now. So, we're basically gonna be screwed up the butthole. Let me just get some health. And maybe run- wait, dang it. Maybe run for my life. Except so RUN! Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap, 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 no, no, no. Oh no! Beams of light, what?! Great, so now we gotta dodge these things that look like Kizaru's beams of light, and outrun Magellan's poison dragon thing. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, no, they're not even Kizaru's beams of light, they're just random lampposts put there. Alright, we're at level 2, yes. And great. And come on, come on, poison. Yeah, crap. Dang, I think it went the wrong way. Oh, I know I didn't. Yes, thank you. Praise Jeebus. Come on, come on, come on, poison. Yes, made it. Gonna get this. What's in here? Yes, more shish kebab. All right, let's go. And great, we're almost out. Just gotta climb up all the way over here. Oh, whoops. No, no, no! Eh. Alright, there they are. Come on. I can make it. Oh, no! Yes. Alright, and, um, over here. Come on, come on. No, 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 okay, yes. Made it. Let's go. Oh, but wait. Nice. Alright. The final battle with Magellan. But we're, we're not alone in this fight. He might, he might overpower us, but Mr. 3, thanks to his wax abilities, gave us... Bam, 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 bam. Yep. Awesomeness. <laughs> 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 he 
He gave us wax boxing gloves and really don't even know what the use of the robot legs are. So, let's do this. Time to kick some ass! Sadly, this is all we could do. Also this. But now I see what the, um, those like robot those robot wax legs are for. But yeah, this is basically the only combo we could do. Because of the, how heavy the wax is, um, Luffy can only basically do this. He can't do gum gum gatling gun. And we can't pull off any of the awesome combos. But, basically because of this, we could we still have wax fingers. We still have wax arms. So, yep, that's basically a trade-off. Oh crap, crap, crap. Urgh. We could also do a special attack, but really, do do we, do you guys think we even need to use a special attack? Look how easy this fight is. The first fight was it was that hard because we had like a big space, but the second fight, look how pathetically easy this is. I haven't even taken a single hit. I just had to jinx it. I should probably run. And let me you want know, let me just use a super attack just to end it faster. And look at look how just look how that easy that was. Yeah, and you see that easy, that easy. Time to knock the wax right out of my hand. Bam. But we're not done yet. Thank you, Mister Three, for all that wax. Finally, having got one of these uh, oh, like awesome boss endings in like such a long time, so time to finally end this guy with some awesome special move. More like gigantic stomp with some wax. Bam! That destroys Magellan's poison and basically damages Magellan so much. And now let's waddle out of here before anything else happens. So yeah, after the defeat of Magellan. Luffy and the others finally escape and fell down. Spoiler right there. So they have to now find a ship to get to Marine Ford. But luckily, they find one of the, an unused Marine ship, so they hijack it. But Mr. Two stays behind to fight Magellan. But you see how everyone's there except for Mr. Two. Who, so while still in fell down, um, Mr. Two contacts them through that snail, which is called a Den Den Mushi. But Mr. Two is apparently facing off uh, against Magellan, but he under he stands no chance against Magellan, and Magellan just uses his poison, and no one even knows what happens to Mr. Two. Right now, and at the point we are in One Piece, we still don't know what happens to him. We see in one we see one picture, but we don't even see his face, so we don't know if he took severe damages from Magellan. But we'll, we will find out some time in the future, I hope. So yeah, we get all this. Yeah, level up, level twenty nine. And guys, I hope you like what you see here, then like, comment, subscribe, and do whatever you want. And guys, I will see you next episode. Peace out, peoples, and bye-bye.